Very short section, uh, embargoed until 10.30pm this evening. And that will begin with Paul Joyce of the Times. Hi, John. I um, just wanted to speak to you about your comments about leadership earlier. What, what do you define as leadership? Because it seems in this team that there's all sorts of different leaders. It's not just about making tackles. It's about bringing the ball out of defences is a type of leadership, the responsibility that other players take. So, so can you talk a bit about the leadership within this group a bit more, please? Yeah, I think you said it there that we've got we've got all kinds of different leaders. Um, I think that's the beauty of it that that we've got all all kinds of different ones. People that probably don't say or say as much, um, but do the talking out on the pitch, and people that are uh, vocal leaders, people that are uh, yeah, getting the team together, people that are that are on the bench that are. That are there to be, you know, giving us advice at half time or wherever it may be, and I think that's that's a a real um, massive quality that I'd, that uh, I definitely want to say about the people who have been on the sideline or on the, on the bench. Um, we've all been one team, and and that's that's um, it's credit to them and credit to to us as a team. And I think that's. Um, part and parcel why why we are where we are right now thanks paul uh, next to matt law telegraph hi john hey um are you aware that in the after the ukraine game you had beaten a a record that was previously held by bobby moore and and just with that in mind your journey with england has been incredible and i, I just wondered whether had this competition this tournament gone ahead on time a year ago do you do you think you'd have been part of it back then? Oh, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> um, maybe not. I, I, I'm not sure. Um, you know, I'm, I'm so glad to be here right now. And, and you know, you said about the, the record. I, I was aware, I was made aware of that. And, yeah, what a um, kind of new record to set over what had previously been set. I'm something that, yeah bit speechless about and, and super proud of um, something that we've we've worked hard for and it's kind of clicked this this tournament you know with the clean sheets and and um, that defensive mentality I suppose that you know I've tried to bring from my um, my season with City and, and and everyone's seasons and we've kind of gelled it together and it's been uh, you know, an incredible six games so far, and obviously conceded last game. But I spoke about the the mentality of uh, us bouncing back from that. Um, but yeah, something I'm super proud of. Thanks, Matt. Next to Neil Squires. Uh, hi, John. Uh, at the start of the tournament, Gareth um, made the decision to make sure you all had a week off, whether you're involved in European games or not. I, that, I guess that might have made for quite a disjointed start to the to get when you got together but are we seeing the benefits of that now at the sharp end of the tournament and do you back yourselves to outlast the Italians in the same way that you did uh, Denmark? I think it was um, I think it was a good decision um, or, a, or a wise decision um, you know in being Gareth being a, a player previously he knows how how demanding it is games and and uh, seasons now, especially with with the amount of games that we play, and you know to give us that time off to kind of um, rest our mind. Uh, obviously, coming off the back of a difficult game on a personal note in in the Champions League, and you know to kind of get away from everything, and spend some time with your family before you know gearing up to come back and and, and give everything for England. Um, that's uh, you know another quality that that he has and uh, sees things uh, kind of in a dif different perspective to to maybe some people. So uh, yeah, to answer that question and, and on the next one, I think is um, us being true to ourselves and and um, going about the games that we have. If it if it takes us to extra time or to the 89th minute to score a goal or 
whatever it might be I think we, we we've got to be patient and um, we definitely have been that throughout this tournament and being calm and collected um, one of the qualities that we've got as a team now and uh, I think in, in big occasions you can't panic or, or start to rush things and, and get sloppy and that's when you know you, you, you get picked off and I think we, we passed that test last last game when we took it to extra time and scored in, in, in the extra time and to win the game and I'm sure speaking on behalf of every other player but the fans as well in there it's it's a it's a difficult um, moment to be in when when you believe you should win and, and, and feel you should win but that's why extra time's there that's why penalties are there that's why we we prepare for those in training um, but us being calm and collected in, in those times have got us through those, those, those tests Thanks Neil next to Pierre L'Equipe Hello John Hi um, is, There is a lot of players like you in the squad that come from Yorkshire and I was wondering, does it something uh, you speak with the other guy? And maybe could it be one of the explanations of your success? Because I don't know, there's a kind of uh, spirit, uh, state of mind related to this uh, county. <laughs> I'd like to think so. It's because of <laughs> we're all from Yorkshire. Um, <laughs> no, we, we, uh, we joke about it sometimes, you know, for... Um, different parts where we're from and um, you know it's just light-hearted I think the success is down to individual quality and you know no matter where anyone comes from background um, yeah it's it's about the individual quality and then coming together and being able to put that into a team environment and um, yeah I wish I could say it's because of Yorkshire but I don't believe it is <laughs> Thanks, Pierre. And we'll have to finish with Charlie Wyatt and Sun. Hi, John. Um, could you just give us an insight, please, into what it's been like um, playing for Gareth over these last few weeks? I mean, he always seems super calm when he speaks to the media, but, but you know, do you ever see him annoyed? Does he ever get irritated with, with players or situations? And then how does he deal with those? Yeah, definitely. I think he wouldn't be human if, if he didn't. Um, I think as a manager, you, you've or as a person you've got that side in you anyway to to um, pick up on things when standards drop maybe or when when you uh, see something you don't like and, and Gareth will do that and, and I think that's something that you you have to do when you're a manager it's about you know keeping the standards and, and what he wants from us as players and if we don't do that then you know he'll be uh, the, fir the first person to tell us and and that's how we've created uh, um, our team, our, our mentality. And, and um, I think it comes from everyone within the, within, the, within the team. And that's players that haven't played, which is a difficult position to be in, um, that have still given everything for the team, um, been there for everyone. And, and that's... Um, that's something then, and uh, something that the manager's created as well. You know, he's on us no matter what, because you never know when you might be called upon. And uh, yeah, hope I've answered your question. Thanks, everybody. Apologies to those who had their hands raised still, but we're going to end it there. Thanks for joining us today.